welcome back to my channel thanks so much for tuning in for another video if you're new welcome and don't forget to subscribe if you're already subscribed welcome back for today's video I'm going to be doing my summertime wash and go this is officially the summer season and I am really excited to do a wash and go that's gonna be my thing all summer long are wash and goes wash and goes and summertime go hand in hand for me they're just quick and easy and just simple and I don't have to do a lot of manipulating with my hair. I'm going to be using two products that I found go really, really great together. One is from TGIN and the other one is from Uncle Funky's Daughter. So when I discovered that these two products work well together, I have been using this combination for the last few weeks. These two products combined have helped me to achieve moisture, shine, and great curl definition. Ever since I've combined these two products, I've noticed that my hair has not been crunchy. I have not experienced any flakes or residue. And this is days and weeks later of having these products left in my hair. These products have left my hair pillow soft, lightweight, airy, moisturized, and shiny. So let me show you the two products I'm speaking of. The first product is from Uncle Funky's Daughter Curly Magic Curl Stimulator. This product is made for taming frizz while defining, elongating, and nourishing your curls. It's fortified with aloe vera, horsetail, and nettle to strengthen hair and stimulate growth and provide shine. And the marshmallow extract prevents dry scalp and it provides really great slip. There are two things I love about this product. One in particular is the slip that it has. This stuff has amazing slip. So if you have dry hair, if your hair is hard to manage when it's, when it's time to style, this is a great one to use to get through those tangles and knots. And I also love the fact that it has very clean ingredients. Now I've seen a lot of reviews of this product and they've been all really great reviews. So I had to give it a try and I'm glad that I got my hands on it. So I'm really impressed. I really love it and it will stay in my natural hair stash. The next product I'll be using for my wash and go will be from TGIN, their Honey Whip Hydrating Mousse with raw honey and agave nectar. This is a lightweight mousse that eliminates frizz and gives brilliant shine and definition. What I also love most about these two products is I can get several wash and goes out of these products and also I can get a good wet look out of these products. So being that these products don't build up in my hair and create a lot of residue, I can just simply reactivate the products and get another wash and go look. And when it dries, I can get a really great wet look. Now if you don't know what a wet look is, it's basically the illusion of your hair looking wet when it's in a dry state basically a high shine and of course if your hair is really dark or black it, it looks more realistic it looks more believable so my hair is over here drip drip dripping so off camera I've already washed my hair using products from Giovanni this is the 50 50 balance hydrating clarifying shampoo and I also have the conditioner so my hair is already nice nicely cleansed and, and washed and ready for this wash and go because I always love to do my wash and goes on fresh clean hair never dirty hair but once it's fully dry I'm just going to go in with my style factor edge booster and I'm just going to go in and slick down my edges to complete the final look so all I'm going to do so all I'm going to do is start with the foam first I'm going to work it in generously through my hair and then I'm going to comb it through with my wide tooth comb once I get that combed in really well I'm going to go in with the gel and then I'm going to brush that in with my dimming brush and just define my curls so let's go ahead and jump right into this thing before I lose any more lighting so without further ado let's get started
wash and go is completed. So what I'm going to do right now is just pop up on the dryer for a couple minutes just to really dry the perimeters of my hair, my edges really, so that way I can lay my edges down with the edge control to complete this sleek look. So my curls feel really good. They look very defined, very juicy. And this is going to be my style for the rest of this week and probably the week after that. So low maintenance, no manipulation whatsoever to my hair. I just put in a satin bun at night or wrap it. In the morning, I just fluff it out a little bit. But I really don't have to keep putting water in it. I could put maybe a little um, leave-in conditioner in it just to kind of, I guess, keep it soft. But it stays soft anyway, so I really don't have to add much to it. But that's pretty much the wash and go look. This is my summertime wash and go look. This is what I'm going to be rocking all summer, this style, these two products, and that's pretty much it. Now, once this dries, like I said, it does create this wet look, but I'm not going to do this on camera today because I just don't have the time to wait until um, my hair is fully dry because I'm not going to sit up on the dryer the whole time. I'm going to just let this air dry. I'll come back on camera just to show you my edges, and that's pretty much it. But this is just a wash and go for now. So just getting over here where you can see a little bit better. Just the sleekness. Never mind the greasy face. So see the edges nice and slick. Let me show you this in the bathroom because the lighting in here is just getting bad and I'm not trying to move towards the window and reset up my equipment. So let's take it to the bathroom. All right, now check out the curl definition. Y'all see it on ripples? These are super defined, but again, I don't want to touch it too much because I don't want to mess it up and cause any frizz. Just going to keep it kind of tucked behind my ear, but it's definitely got some really great curl definition. So I have my hair slicked back as slick as I can get it, but once it's 100% dry, I'm just going to take a pick and I'm just going to lift up my roots gently just for a little bit more volume. But other than that, I'm just gonna leave it as is. I don't wanna touch it too much because I don't wanna create frizz, and I do wanna keep that definition that I have. So I hope you guys enjoy watching my summertime wash and go. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It's just Janine, and I will see you on the next video. Bye, guys.